I just saw wild dolphins. Hi there. Today I'm at Ferry Den, just across the river from Montrose, and I'm here to do a plein air painting of this bit of the river mouth and and the beach across there and I was thinking about doing the lighthouse which is up there somewhere um, which I might come back another day and do but all that aside is just being pales and tins of things. I just saw wild dolphins for the first time ever and they were leaping about and just at, it was amazing um, I don't have the batteries for my big camera with me so I didn't get good photos but um, I'll put in whatever footage I did manage to get for you absolutely amazing and they were so close as well I didn't get I didn't get video footage of them close um or, or photos of them close but oh, it's amazing and like that's you know within sight of there my you know my house is over there in the town somewhere and oh, so close to home and dolphins I mean It's just amazing, like... Anyway, better get, better get... I've done a little bit of sketching so far. Um, oh. uh, that is the roughest of rough sketches of the bit of coast I'm going to be doing. Um, and I did a few other... did a few others. Um, I was thinking about towards the town and uh, it's another just really rough really rough sketch but yeah wild dolphins you know, who comes to the workplace and sees wild dolphins maybe you do but I've never done it before that's amazing so you've seen the first amazing thing that happened to me I saw my first ever wild dolphins. I was gutted not to get good footage, but the experience itself was so special, and I'll remember to be better prepared in future. The second thing that happened, I didn't film at all, but I'd love to share the story. This was the busiest place that I'd set up to create. It wasn't full of people, but there was a steady flow of walkers whilst I was working. A short way into the painting, a friendly tourist from Belgium stopped to speak to me. He was walking with his family this day, but he was also travelling around Europe doing running events. He was really interested in my drawing, and he asked if it was for sale. I was a bit taken aback. I hadn't sold any of my landscapes, and it was just a little 6x4 piece, and it wasn't finished yet. So I was apprehensive, but also thrilled he was interested. I was a bit hesitant about the price. I hadn't sold anything this size yet, and I didn't want to put him off. I worked out what it would be in line with my other prices, but then instead of waiting, I undercut the price before he'd said anything. As artists, it's super easy to let a lack of self-confidence or our own experience with money make us undervalue our work. But although I was cringing inside because I knew I shouldn't have changed the price, I was still excited about the thought of selling an original landscape. I emphasised that he was under no obligation and that I would be further along with it by the time he walked back. Hopefully he would still like it and we could swap details so that I could get paid and I could send it to his home address 
so that you didn't have to carry it with him on his travels. Then he carries on with his walk and I look back at the piece that I have got half done and it looks so tiny and so rough and I panic a little. What was I thinking trying to sell this tiny scrappy sketch? What if it didn't turn out? Did I charge too much? Too little? Could I pack up now and be long gone by the time you walked back and not have to deal with this at all? Ah! I marshal my courage. He doesn't have to like it. He doesn't have to buy it. I don't need to sell it. Calm down. Do the work. Something strange happens when you get in the flow of the work. It's no longer a tiny 6x4 bit of paper because you're putting a huge area of landscape inside it and part of your mind is far away on those fields that you're observing and not constrained by the paper at all. There's a whole piece of the world in there. I wish more of that experience was evident in the finished work or in these videos. I'm not yet a good enough artist or filmmaker to share that yet. But the experiences are already there and I know that practice will bring me closer to sharing them with you. When he came back, he did like what I'd created and we did exchange emails. Part of me didn't expect him to want to buy it once he was home from his travels or to not like the picture once he received it. But he did love it and I got paid and it got sent and admired. It's so important not to let our self-confidence or attitude to money hold us back from selling our work. I put so many barriers up and I was lucky that he persevered. But it's not a way to make a living with art. I need to get more comfortable with sharing and selling my work and not flinch away from the possible rejection. So, if I hadn't taken my art supplies outside, I wouldn't have seen the wild dolphins or created that piece or sold it. I'm so glad I took action and I need to remember that when I'm hesitant in the future. A few days after I saw the dolphins, I did take my children to see the lighthouse. I also took my camera, hoping that the dolphins would be back, but we didn't see any. The kids enjoyed playing in the rock pools and scrambling over the rocks though, and I caught some pictures of birds along the way. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy seeing the plein air painting I did of Scurdiness Lighthouse from across the river. <laughs>